Hey, I'm Mitch. Welcome to Telephone Tuesdays here at This Museum Is Not Obsolete. Just a moment, please. Your Today we're talking about these things, relays. There are loads of clicky relays here in our telephone exchanges at the museum, but relays come in all sorts of different shapes and sizes and we're used for all kinds of different things. It's no secret that Look Mum No Computer loves relays and he's made all kinds of machines that you can come and play with here at the museum, like the relay sequencer and the electromechanical blinking lights. But what are relays and what are they useful for? In the most basic terms, they are switches. But the difference between a relay and a switch like this is I have to move this with my hand for it to work. Whereas a relay can work automatically with electricity. That's because relays have an electromagnet in them. Underneath this cover here, there's a coil of wire. You can see it in this deconstructed one. And if you put a current through that coil of wire, it will create a magnetic field. That magnetic field attracts an armature. That's this bit right at the end, and you see it moves and pivots on a yoke. At the other end of the armature, when it pivots, it moves these electrical switch contacts. And the circuitry through these switch contacts and the actual electromagnet of the relay are completely isolated. And this was a big deal because it was the first time anybody ever figured out how to amplify a signal. That meant that they could send telegraph messages over longer distances. Relays like this one were used on the railways. Over distance, electrical signals can fade, and these were spaced along the railway line to amplify and repeat the signals, just like handing off a baton in a relay race. Joseph Henry is credited with inventing the relay in 1835, and for context, it's the same year that the wrench was patented. We were just looking at all the stuff that was invented around that time. It's absolutely mad. There's so much stuff. Yeah, crazy time to be alive. 1834 was a pretty cool year because they invented the refrigerator. And then uh, we forgot the same year as the relay and the wrench, Charles Babbage invented the mechanical calculator. Then following on, you've got the postage stamp in 1837. You've got vulcanized rubber in 1839. Wow. The difference between relays and solenoids, by the way, is that relays switch electrical contacts. So all relays are solenoids, but not all solenoids are relays. The switch contacts on relays come in all kinds of different configurations that allow you to make or break contacts when the relay is turned on. But even with the simplest of configurations, just on and off, relays can do Boolean arithmetic. That's binary calculations. And with the ability to make switches move automatically, electronic computers are made possible. Some of the earliest computers used relays. They were the direct predecessor to valves and transistors, and they led the way to the modern computing era that we know now. It's amazing that so much modern technology has its origin in early telephone equipment. I hope you join me again for the next Telephone Tuesday here at This Museum Is Not Obsolete. If you want to support us here, you can click on the Patreon link down below. But for now, I will see you next Tuesday. <laughs>